What's up guys, Michael here. In last video, we are talking about the folder structure of a SWOT project. The SWOT viewer used some of the files to run the model and show the results. But in some, in some research, the model may be created differently and they may only have the model input files and some of the shape files. In that case, they still can use the SWOT viewer to view the results, but they need to manually create the SWOT project. Today, in this video, I will show you how to do that. Let's jump right in. Here in my computer here, I have an example project uh, in my folder here, so in my original folder. In this folder, I have two subfolders. So the first subfolder is the shapes folder. So this folder will have two shape files. One is for ridge, another is for sub basin. I will use the same name as the one in the other spots. For ridge, we, I will call it uh, RIB1, and for sub basin, I will rename them as uh, as UBS1. Another folder is the text in out folder. This folder will hold all the model input files. Basically, you can see all the input files is here. So that's all I need to create a SWOT product to use in the SWOT output viewer. Now uh, let's get the start to create the product. So I go to uh, uh, this level here and create a new product here and give a name called SWOT project. Okay, and uh, I will copy all these two folder here to the SWOT project. It take a while to copy it because the model has a lot of files in the model input files. Okay. Here I have this SWOT project folder here and I have these two uh, two folders. Uh, so right now we want to restructure the folder so as the one in the SWOT project to to allow the viewer to find the proper files. So first we will deal with the shape, shapes folder. So in the SWOT project, we want to put this shapes folder in the watershed folder. So we create another folder called watershed. Okay, and drag this shapes folder into watershed. Okay, and another one is we want to deal with this model input files. So basically, uh, in the SWOT project, you will you need to have another two folders above this uh, this text in out folder. So the first level we we create here we call scenarios. Okay, and then we put this text in out into scenarios. And then go to scenarios, we need to create another level. So this this name here doesn't matter. So basically this will be the scenario name. So we we can use the one called the default, default one, but you can use any other name you want. So it's just the scenario name. So then I drag this text in output folder, go into that folder. Okay. So yeah that's it. So if you go back to see and we have here is we first have this SWOT product folder and they create a uh, scenario default and put text in out in this folder here and for the shape file that I put it into the watershed folder. So let's go back to the spot we were in to see how we can open that. So right now I can go to this spot product. You can see what we have here. We have scenario default text in out and the watershed shape file. That's all we have. So and that's all we need in the spot view. So we click OK then you can see it's open and then we can run the model and it's running I think I will have 10 years running oh great so I have all the results available and I go to sub basin and then select some of the results yeah that's it so you can see it's very easy to create a structure basically what you need to have is just there's two shape files for each and sub basin, and another folder for the model input folder. 
So here the naming is、um, very important. You want to make sure all the model input files is in a folder called txt in out folder. So the program will try to find the input files in this folder. So you need to make sure you use the correct name. Also the same for this shapes folder. So you need to put them into the watershed and shapes folder. And also the shape file name you need to use、uh, the correct name. So because the viewer is trying to load the shape file using the name. Yeah, that's it. So if you use other、uh, ways to create this the swap model. So you can use this method to create your own SWOT project and load them into your SWOT viewer. So hope this helps you guys, and、uh, hope to see you in next video. Thank you.